Hey guys, so today I'm going to cover how to create a campaign inside of Sitecore. Uh, this is obviously a marketing topic, um, so it's fairly straightforward. Um, you have your marketing applications over here on the on the launch pad once you log into Sitecore, um, and you'll see an option for a campaign creator. Uh, if you go ahead and click on this, you will be re uh, presented with a list of can current campaigns that you are running. Uh, by default, Sitecore installs campaigns um, that you might be using. Uh, these are all social in nature, but you can use this to, if you have a email campaign, for example, and you're using some sort of outsourced or other provider such as Silverpop or MailChimp or something like that, and you want to track uh, traffic to Sitecore, um, via the campaign, via a custom campaign, you can do that through this interface. Uh, so by to do that, you just would cl click on Create Campaign Activity. And you'll be presented with some options. Um, I'll just call this MailChimp Campaign. I'm going to say Start Today, uh, which is the 30th. And I will say it ends in a couple months. Um, you can also customize uh, campaign facets if you have any defined, which you don't in this instance. Um, you can also specify channels that this campaign, basically uh, you can, to kind of clarify what this is, is it all kind of can help you um, group or classify your campaign into other uh, areas. So for channels, for example, you might have a channel for, you know, offline advertising, or you might have online advertising for, you know, your, um, for email campaigns, email marketing, email newsletter, notifications, purchase list, etc. So you can really, uh, by using the campaigns and linking and, and using these campaigns in all your different channels, you can really start to bring in all your different channels, track, it, track all those channels through Sitecore, and uh, it really adds you know, further classifications and further tracking for your, your, your marketing efforts. So I'm just going to say this is an email newsletter. Um, there's other classifications. Some of these you have to uh, define in your taxonomies that you would create, um, and that would really depend on what what things that you're trying to define. So um, I'm hoping in the next few weeks to months, I'm going to create a case study um, example of how to set up everything for a specific type of business. Um, but I'll get to that uh, when I do get to that, and that will be very useful. Um, so let's go ahead and just save this. So it's been created. So you would use this link on any links that you send to Sitecore, you would pass in and, or this is basically a query string value and, and then it would be passed in. You can, uh, you know, pass to an engagement plan as well. If you have any engagement plans to find, which we don't currently, um, and you can also view your campaign reports. Like I said, once you started to get links from an external source, you can uh, start to see where those users are coming in, what they're looking at, where they might be purchasing. Uh, if they're, if you've assigned to an engagement plan, these are people coming in. You can assign them to some sort of email campaign or email engagement plan so that you can track them from coming in or basically getting the email, going into the engagement plan once they visit the site. And then they, um, after that, they would, um, you know, you could track them through some sort of step process. Maybe they filled out a form. Okay, now they've purchased something. Now they're recurring, et cetera. So, um, Pretty straightforward. That's that's really all there is here. Um, I'll just click on go to experience analytics, um, and this will basically show you uh, statistics on your campaign. 
or your current campaigns, but there isn't any currently I have running. Um, but like I said, I'm going to do a example campaign and full on use case study on some sort of business entity that will have uh, different campaigns, different engagement plans, different things like that um, in the next week or two, if not uh, late about a month from now. So, all right, that's it.